All right, the next thing we want to cover is this idea called a general term formula. Now, what the heck is the general term formula? Well, the, the, to cut the grandfather story short, you want to understand this. Okay, the, 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 the problem is this. If I have this expansion, and I say, you know what, I only want the eighth term, then what do you do? Of course, one very silly way to do it is to just expand, 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 expand. expand. At most, how many terms you have? At most, 14 terms, all right? Expand no, expand to 14. Then you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, that, that's the one. Then you get the eighth term. Agree? Now you will work, yes, but it's not very clever, right? Why is it not very, very clever? Because if this is 130, and you, if you want the 80th term, uh, well, good luck doing it that way, right? So you want to be more clever. We want to be, have a particular way to do it so I can just find the term I want without having to expand everything. Okay, so that's what we call the general term formula. All right, so again, you probably guess that well, uh, another formula, yes, another formula. But this other formula turns out not that hard because, all right, let me just go through quickly. Huh? You already know this formula very well, right? This is the binomial theorem, okay, as we work, we've been using all this well. NC0, NC1, power reduce one, power add one, blah, 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 okay. Now, uh, what I want you to do is to pay attention to the pattern. Now, we all know that there's a pattern, right? We all know that the power of A is keep on decreasing, power of B keep on increasing, right? And we also know that it's NC0, NC1, NC2. That's obviously the pattern. That's why it's a formula. But not only the pattern I need to know, right? Now, all I want you to be able to spot is this. If I call this T1, not terminal 1, uh, but it's term 1, okay? What can you see that is related to term 1? All right, if I call this T2, what can you see that is related to T, T2? So much so that if I'm looking for T80, I can find the formula right away. I don't need to go and continue writing like mad. Okay? So pay attention. Now, you see all the things that are important are all highlighted for you. All right? You notice that the power of B is always related to the NCR, the number R. All right? So they share the same power. Like for example, the first term, NC0, B power will be 0. Okay? Now, second term, NC1, B power will be 1. Okay? NC2, the B power will be 2. NC3, the B power will be 3. So the term at the back, okay, will always have the same, the, the power will always be the same as the number below. Okay? Now, not only that, we also know that the power of A is related to the power of B. Because if this is 1, then this must be n minus 1, because if 1 transfer over there, right? If this is 2, then this must be n over n minus 2. They always add up to become n. So if you know that this is 3, this must be n minus 3. Okay, so that's the pattern, right? Okay, number 2. Second thing, they go like, uh, okay, now what? Uh, but, yeah, so what if I know this? So for example, I know nc5, for example. And then, of course, a will be n minus 5, uh, b will be power 5. Well, that's all I know what? But I don't know what number is this. Is this term 6, term 5, term, term 100? Agree not? You need to then link this to the position number. All right? And if you try to look at the position number and the formula itself, it's also not that hard. Because T1, then you get NC0. T2, you get NC1. T3, you got NC2. So obviously, T4, you're going to get NC3. So if I'm interested in T80, guys, what the heck is T80? Well, that should be NC79. And if this is 79, my B power will be 79. And if my B power is 79, my A power will be N minus 79. Hey, I found the term. That is the general term formula. Understand? Now, of course, the best is you memorize, and you should. Because otherwise, every time you need to use, you need to look at your formula list. And then you start thinking about the pattern. That's not cool. All right? You need to memorize because there are the, oh, basically these three points to memorize. That's all. Okay? So the position number is related to the NCR. The R is the same as the power of B. The B is the same, uh, well, is related to the power of A. And therefore, you like that, trace, 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 you can always trace out the term that you want. Okay, so there you go. <clears throat> this is what I was talking about. T10 will be NC9, and when this is 9, this will be 9, this will be N minus 9. T20, there will be NC19, because it's always one less. All right, and then this will be B power 19, this will be M minus power 19. 
All right, to some extent that some school teachers will call this the R plus one term formula. Okay, R plus one term, why? Well, because if you want the 20th term, then this is NC19. So if this is R plus one, then this will be NCR. Okay, uh, so this is what some teachers like to call it R plus one term. I don't, I don't like it because I think it's quite a mouthful, R plus one term. You know what I mean? So you probably just call it a general term. That means every term inside, if you notice, uh, every term in the expansion always look like that one. It's really a matter of what is your R, and therefore which position you're in, that's all. Are we all clear now? Okay, cool. Now you know what you can do suddenly, if you know this, if you know this formula, all right, you can do this question. Meaning to say, let's come back to our original question, which is this, right? I want to find the eighth term of this expansion without expanding like mad. Now, can I do that? No, because we know the formula, we can. You see the formula, let me just write it here for you, okay? TR plus one is equal to T, uh, sorry, uh, NCR, okay? Uh, A, B, B power R, this is M minus R. Unfortunately, if you really want to do well for your binomial theorem, you should memorize. Okay, you really should memorize. So, come back to our problem. This is our first term, front term, back term. If you like, front side, back side, up to you. All right, the power n is 13. I'm looking for my eighth term. So, what is eighth term? Okay, eighth term will be 13c. I, I, oh, no battery, don't know what. 13c what? Huh? Come on, if this is eight, what is this? Seven, okay? So, 13c is seven. And when you know that this is 7, you know that the x over 2, which is the back side, will be power 7. Then the front side, which is 4, will be power 13 minus 7. What the heck is 13 minus 7? 6, right? Okay. This is your 8th term. No need to expand like mad. You get the 8th term. Understand? If you, even if you want a 10th term, you can. Let's try, shall we? Let's just try. If I, if I want the 10th term... What should I have? 13C, what? There was no response one. Come on. Uh, well, Sanjay, why don't you tell me? 13C, what? Thank you. 13C, 9. And when this is 9, I know that there's a 4. I know that there's an X over 2. All right. Uh, Stephanie, how do you think this power will be? 9. And Mr. Zen, if this were to be power 9, what do you think this is? 1, your head. 4. Oh, oh it's, it's you know, I'm not paying attention. But get the point? Understand or not? Okay, cool. All right, so this is a very useful formula, right? Okay, good. So this formula helps you do these kind of things. So take note. Now your turn to try. Okay?